Hi, this is Brian, and we're into uh, June 27th, uh, 2011, and <clears throat> I'm just wanting to talk about the uh, local democratic uh, issues for now, and, and of course, top of the uh, list is the annual plan that Wellington City Council uh, has been uh, progressing and on uh, Wednesday the 29th council finalises its annual plan and I guess the <clears throat> most important uh, part of that annual plan is that it's setting the rates for the new uh, financial year and uh, that's surely got to be the uh, most important thing that a council can do and in a particular, it impacts on you, on your pocket. And if you're uh, a land owner, if you're a homeowner, you'll be paying those rates directly. And if you're renting, you'll be paying those rates indirectly. So one way or another, everybody is impacted uh, by the rates. And this year, of course, the uh, rating differential is being moved again. And, and this is... Uh, in this particular um, series of uh, sequences, uh, this uh, is the last time. It's shifting from uh, 3.4 to 2.8 in favour of the commercial sector. So we now have almost the uh, total burden of the uh, running of the city uh, is now being placed on the home owner. And I, I actually see that as totally inappropriate. Because business, viable business, deducts and passes on its costs because it is not the end user. It passes on to the end user. The homeowner is the end user and there's nowhere for those costs to be uh, passed on. They just stop with the homeowner and with those who rent. So uh, this burning issue has been unattended uh, for a long time and it's a consequence of uh, media disinterest and I guess to a certain extent apathy where the media actually looks after the interests of the citizens we have quite good responses for example recently there was the uh, contentious issue of Wellywood near the Wellington airport and of course there was a tremendous amount of uh, media interest but unfortunately uh, when it comes to taxation or local tax which is rates uh, the uh, issue uh, doesn't get the appropriate attention. And, of course, um, there should be, and there is. You know, there is a, an old, long-standing principle, no uh, taxation without representation, and this is the issue that uh, the majority of councillors uh, keep quiet on. However, a small group of us, uh, usually four or five, uh, vote against the uh, penalising of the homeowners and... You know, it's been said that uh, there's a subsidy taking place, but I, I fail to see how that actually happens because um, with the commercial uh, uh, the business uh, operators of the city and when uh, you have a viable business, you pass your costs on, so there can be no subsidising. So really the whole issue of subsidisation now falls on the shoulders of the homeowners. Uh, actually... You know, it's it's on their pocket. Their their pockets uh, are now being uh, further depleted in favour of the business sector. So you have until the 29th of June uh, to actually vocalise uh, your opinions on this issue, and <clears throat> you can find the Wellington City Council on the internet. You can ring your local councillors and if you don't know how to do that you just simply ring 499 4444 and you ask the help desk who your local councillors are. I suggest you email and ring your local councillors and tell them that you've had enough. If you're interested in your own preservation, I think it's really important. Okay, well we'll speak to you next time. This is Brian signing off.